I am a grandmother affiliated with the Grandmothers to Grandmothers campaign, and I know something about what the grandmothers of Sub-Saharan Africa and the children orphaned by AIDS in their care live through. I have seen babies in South Africa with AIDS just lying in their cribs. I've also seen mothers holding these babies and there is so much love in the eyes of these mothers as they're holding their babies and yet you know that those babies are going to die in a matter of days or a matter of weeks and it's one of the saddest things I've ever seen. I know now that there are thousands and thousands and thousands of grandmothers in Africa who buried their own children, who are now raising those grandchildren, and who are praying that they don't have to bury them as well. Most of our people who are living with HIV and AIDS, they need the drugs. Currently, what we have, we have a waiting list. They are dying in unbelievable numbers, causing intense pain and grief uh, because there aren't treatment medicines. It makes my heart ache. It, it is, it's just beyond my belief that that kind of suffering is going on. It makes me believe. We all know the information about the death toll with regards to HIV AIDS when mothers and children don't have the medication that they need. We have the resources and we have the technology and the science to offer them an alternative to dying of a preventable disease. I don't know whether I'm more outraged or terribly heartbroken about those who are dying who don't have access to a treatment that they should have. I feel angry because it is preventable and we have the resources and we ought to have the will. Six years ago, our all parties in Canada promised to send drugs to Africa. So far, we have sent one shipment. Sadly, Camer was beset with bureaucratic difficulties which have made it virtually impossible for developing countries to use. I find that that embarrasses me as a citizen of this country. It, it angers me and it also breaks my heart. Every day we delay, thousands are dying in Africa and that does not make me a proud Canadian. Bill C-393 is poised to fix what's wrong with camera that will enable the law to function the way it was meant to, the way the people in Parliament who voted for it intended that it should function. It allows the generic drug manufacturers to do what businesses are supposed to do, which is to manufacture and export, and it enables the developing countries that are in desperate need of the drugs to actually apply in a simple, straightforward way and get them. If Canada can make this work of uh, passing the drugs. It can uh, help millions of children, youth in South Africa. Can the bill be passed in Parliament so that we are like them? We are, have treatment like Canada. Our children have treatment like Canada. When you pass Bill C-393, you will directly affect the lives of the grandmothers we work for. Rarely do members of Parliament have the opportunity to save literally hundreds of thousands of lives. You have this opportunity now. You have the opportunity to save a child's life, a mother's life. Imagine if someone in your family were dying you would give everything on earth to save them. Use that power, use that compassion now. I call upon you, our elected leaders, to pass Bill C-393 and get generic, life-saving, quality, low-cost drugs flowing to the developing world as soon as we possibly can. 
I'm begging. And I am kneeling down. Could you please pass this bill?